What is going on guys? It's Mr. Very here and today we are going to be um doing the Fury Gate again and it's open. I don't know where it is and I'm also streaming right now. Let's see. Yes, I am. And so I have to get to Tibia Twitch real quick. Twitch.tv slash Mr. Very. Sorry about this for those of you who are watching on YouTube. I apologize, but I just need to get the chat window open. The pop out chat. And then, uh, that'll be all good. All right, so there is a Fury Gate today, so I am going to go find it. But first, we need to get our equipment straightened out here. Um, yeah, this needs to go, this needs to go, this needs to come. Oh, let's see. 177, 61, yeah, goodbye. Um, I guess the legs I'll bring, oh, definitely do not want this. I want this. And I shall bring my depth of Kraya for my mana drain resistance, and it's some pretty defensive um it's not the greatest in defense but it's not the worst six just make sure i have 25 because they drop rusty legs pretty frequently um all right now we want to check on my ring of healings and Okay, so what we're going to do is, we're going to go to the very bottom BP, and just grab a bunch, so that it's filled. There we go, now we've got a full backpack. Alright, that's helpful. Um, and now we got to check out the rune situation. Um, I'm not going to need any great fireballs, that's for sure. Seeing as how most things there are either immune to fire or very, very strong to it. Uh, 154 explosions, that's fine. Um, SDs, we will take all of those, which puts us at um, about 800. Not bad, I need to buy a couple more though. And also, I will... Uh, take uh, about a hundred thunderstorms about a hundred and uh, fifty sure hundred and fifty icicles and we gotta ditch these firewalls because we do not need them and I think we're good now is anyone in the stream yet? Yeah, there are people in this stream. Okay, cool. They're just not chatting for some reason. Alright. So, we have to find the Fury Gate, which is going to hopefully not take that long. Um, it really depends. Sometimes it's super easy. Other times, not so much. And we already have a ton of mana potions, so we're set on those, that is for sure. Um, avalanches, I think we're pretty set on. Uh, I mean, we can buy another, uh, we'll buy another 87, just, or no, we'll, we'll make it 50, 37. Because I don't even think I go through that many, but... That way I feel free to use as many as I want, you know? Um, sudden death runes. One, two, three, four. Just so it's an even number. 
and we can grab another 80. So we have almost a thousand Estes, um, and we're going to go explore and see if we can find the Fury Gate. And uh, I'm going to check all the um, the places that it's closest to first, like, uh, mm, I don't know what a good example is, Adron's. Uh, okay, we'll go to Venor first. I have, I have a feeling it may be in Venor this time. Um, Venor, it's, it's usually pretty close to the outskirts of the town, um, or it's within the town. It's really not too much of a pain, but, um, I do think I have to re-hotkey Icicle. Yes, I do. Use on target. Done. Okay. That's the only thing I needed that for. Now I need this open, and we need to go over here, of course. And we'll throw a life ring on until we find the Fury Gate. Okay, it's not in Venor, so that's confirmed. All right, so not Venor, so um, <clears throat> I'm gonna go check Adron. Adron was where it was last time, so actually let's check Ankandera first. Those are usually the two spots I check first. What up, guys? What up? I see Tanub show. Very. <laughs> yeah, what's good, guys? Sorry, I'm just kind of walking around. I'm looking for the Fury Gate, man. It's taken forever, too. Oh. Hopefully it doesn't take forever. Actually, it's super close in Port Hope. So let's do that one. Because, like, I think Port Hope is the closest one to the boat. I would say. Almost. Eh. I don't know. It's close. It's a close call. See, like, it's right there. And look, Rashid's there too. That's handy. That way, if I loot any noble axes, I can just go sell them right there. I have one VIP online. God damn it. Okay. So. It is not. Uh. Port Hope or Thias. Or Venor, sorry. Um, so hopefully, um, oh, let's see, I'm going to go check Dara now, and then I'm going to check Ank, because I usually check Dara and Ank first, for some reason, it's just like out of habit. <laughs> Yeah, the tibia sound. <laughs> oh, yep. I don't know, man. I, the tibia, I don't know. I must have done something wrong with the settings and the tibia sound just isn't working. Let's see, come on. Yes! Third fucking guess. I am the man. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I'm pretty damn good, if I do say so myself. Um, you you can start at like 150. If you want to get like everything on you. Um, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend, um, 
I don't know. I would be careful. And that spawn is usually camped. It's uh, it's definitely good though. I mean, you get mad plats, you get mad exp. There's really nothing to bitch about when it comes to that spawn. What up, Fury? How we doing? Rusty legs. Let's let's see how our luck is today. Oh, plate. Okay. All right. I suppose that's better than the alternative of uh, just nothing or you know, whatever. Okay, hell firefighter first. I'm fine with that. Actually, I'm totally cool with that. And there's an imp. Aha. This can actually work out quite well. Actually, this is going to work out beautifully. Oh no, don't do this imp. Ow! Why'd you do that, Hellfire? That was very mean. Did you, did you guys just see that? How mean he was? He had to. I don't fucking beam him for that much damage. Shit. That's just unnecessary. Unnecessary roughness. You should get, like, convicted for that or something. Okay. What's up next? Dragonlings? Yep, that's what I figured. Okay. Come on, second dragonling. That's just like lurking down there. Okay, where's this life ring will expire and Alright. Well, I need Ring of Feelings on now, so sorry. And I should probably heal. Oops, I just stopped recording for a second. Sorry about that. Oh, sh I was about to go grab the other fairy. Glad I didn't do that. <laughs> Where are the steel boots at? Where are the steel boots at? <sighs> Give me the loot. Give me the loot. Give me the loot. There should be a fury just like chilling around here. Yep. There she be. And she's got two imps chilling with her. Red piece of cloth. All right. You know, normally I would be excited, but once again, I'm going to go ahead and go on my bitch spree about uh, how Oramond ruined Red Pox. Because it's fucking true. Oh, took them both down. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, unfortunately, their loot was not so beautiful. But this... Fury is back. Oh, come on, Dragonling. Why you gotta be that like that? Like, you see me and the Fury doing our thing, and this isn't a threesome. You weren't invited. To be in a threesome, you have to be invited, bro. I'm sorry. Here, look. Oh, fine. Fuck you. I don't even care about you right now. That's how upset you've made me. Alright. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and just keep avalanching, because screw the infernalist. And screw the imp. And screw that other infernalist 
hopefully I can just keep this one. Yep, nice. The other one's going to hang out down south, so we can have some personal time with this one. A skull staff, not bad. Not bad. Decent enough, I suppose. Alright. Let's see how much an icicle... Let's see what my icicles do to these guys. Yeah, they do piss all. Much rather SDU. Icicles I usually just use on uh, Hellfire Fighters. Because they're actually worth using icicles on. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Very, very happy with both of those. For those of you who do not know, Furies are very weak to energy. So uh, that's why, that's another reason I bring Thunderstorms. Is just so that when I get um, more than, you know, just a Fury on me. And I've already SD'd her a couple times. I can just Thunderstorm down the rest of the stuff. And that is, there's like a mob. Yep, there's the mob. Hi guys. Hello friends and family and stuff. <laughs> what do you guys think of this? Pretty nice, right? Yeah, I definitely need to pot up here in a second. I haven't like potted up at all. But I haven't had to for loot yet, which is surprising, because normally the terror rods force me into mass potting situations, you know? But, uh, what, what can you do? Alright, let's get to, like, at least eight. There we go. That's nice. How's our ring of healing looking? Two minutes? Alright. What? You're back already? Wow, there must be a lot of people online right now because spawn rate is like off the chain right now. Okay. Thank you so much for those two things. Uh, another... F that means that this fury in this room is going to spawn like as soon as I leave the room for more than a second. Okay. Or demonic essence. Can't. I mean, that's fine. Oh, dragonlings. Well, yep. Wow, I was in the room and she's just like, fuck it, I'm spawning anyway. I ain't waiting for you to leave, bitch. I think they're kind of strong to ice, honestly. Um based on those hits. Come on, red dragon scale, don't do that. I hate seeing dragon scale when I kill dragon lords, because then I'm like, is that a dragon scale male? And then, you know, usually nine times out of ten, it's, it's not a dragon scale male. No, not at all. Not at all. And we get a concentrated demonic blood. Don't you fucking do it. Don't make me go down there and lure everything on me. Although I did just clear out that massive horde. Oh, fucking. Mm, I'll deal with him later. Whatever. 
Oh look, a green mushroom. Oh yeah. Duh, ring of healing's gone. Throw that life ring in there. Fury. Hi. Hi, sweetheart. Have you heard about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? I'm just trying to hand out some pamphlets. Why are you doing this? No, why are you trying to kill me? I'm just trying to save your soul from eternal damnation. Oh my god. Did you guys just see that? That was terrible. Huh. I don't know what gets into people sometimes. Hey, that, that reminds me. Did you guys ever get PK'd by a hunter? If you've played Tibia for a long time, there was probably a time where you were low level and you saw a hunter and it was raping you. And you were saying, stop, plez, stop. And for some reason, Hunter just didn't give a fuck and kept attacking. <laughs> and then Hunter sent you to the depot. <laughs> if this has happened to you, you're probably an old school Tibia player. <laughs> Night legs, all right. Okay. Last time was crown, but I ain't gonna complain about night, you know. Night is classy, that's classy. Oh, I'm keeping it real. Let's see what's going on in the chat here. My voice is annoying. Wow. Thank you. My voice is very annoying. The Guino 3. Thank you. I guess. And. Mander 1122. Are you fucking high? Um. No. I'm not high. I'm not allowed to get high. I'm on probation. I'm on my prescriptions, which do have a psychoactive effect, but no, I'm, I'm not high. I'm just in a really, really good mood. Is there a problem with me being in a really, really good mood? Like, that's kind of why I wanted to stream was because I was like, huh, I'm super happy today. I think that I would do a really good stream because I'm really happy. Are you high? Like, what the fuck? It's pretty disrespectful, if you ask me. But, plus, even if I was high... Not only is that none of your business, but who fucking cares? Anyway, I digress. New subject. Oh, boop. There we go. Looking good. Feeling good on a Wednesday. Oh, it is Wednesday. New South Park tonight. Awesome. For those of you 
who watch South Park, you will share my excitement. Because they decided to take a break last week for Thanksgiving for some reason. Uh, but hey, they're, they're only human, whatever, I understand. You gotta take a break every once in a while, get your bearings and stuff. Alright, I really want to see what these legs are. And they just turn into nothing. Guardian shield. I can't pick it up. I cannot pick it up. So I'm just going to throw it over there for now. Until I finish this dragonling slash infernalist and, uh, Get into my backpack and get rid of some of my pots, because I know that's what's weighing me down, for sure. Yep. And I'm only going to be checking chat every so often for, res well kind of trying to be respectful to um, those watching this on YouTube and um, who miss the stream as well as I'm in Fury Gate I'm Fury Gate slash Fury Dungeon whatever you want to call it and um, you know it's pretty it's pretty intensive like I need to be paying attention most of the time not only that, but I like keeping the spawn at a certain rate, so, yeah, there's that too. Nice. Now I have enough cap to pick up stuff for a little bit. We'll go ahead and minimize that just in case we got to drop pots again. I didn't bring too many e-walls, that's, I, but I, I'm, I think I'm going to drop down and, uh, do the floor below because as you guys know if you've seen me hunt here I love that floor noble axe all right so far so good definitely uh, not disappointed in this loop Okay. Hello? <laughs> okay, there we go. Usually don't have to walk out that far. They're usually a little bit further up. Um... The Hellfire Fighters, uh, the last couple times I've been in here, the Hellfire Fighters actually been the furthest thing north and been the first creature I've killed, which is nice just to get him out of the way because he's kind of a uh, pain in the ass and a threat. Well, he's not so much a pain in the ass as he is a threat to my life um, while fighting Furies, and he can destroy my E-Walls, and just make all sorts of problems for me, so, there's that. Okay, there he is. Cool. And it's just him. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And nothing. That's alright, though. Fury. And my E-Walls should be going down. Yep. Figured they would be going down very soon anyway. Energy does not stay up for long. Which kind of sucks, but, uh... It's not that big of a deal, really. Just gotta make sure you keep putting the walls up if you really need them. And I gotta pop back upstairs after I finish this Fury just to make sure that I'm not 
that spawn isn't getting crazy upstairs and that I don't pop up into a hellhole. And Noble Axe and Terror Rod come... We've gotten... Wait, wait a minute. We've gotten two Noble Axes. And this is our first Terror Rod. This is probably one of the strangest Fury Hunts I have ever had. Wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that, that's kind of what I thought. Yep. Figured you would be here. And that is why I came upstairs. Nice. That worked out. All right, I'll check chat. I've watched some of this stuff, just noticed he's slightly loopy. I'm not high on pills. I'm prescribed so I'm prescribed anti-anxiety medication because I have anxiety and um besides that let's see have you been to prison, Venomous? Yes, I have spent 80 hours... Not prison, I've spent 80 hours in jail. Yes, I have. And it was not fun. Not at all. Let me tell you. Especially when they, uh, they decided to put me in isolation... Um, so that was even better because, you know, I didn't have anyone to talk to or anything to do. Uh, it was basically just like a small room with a toilet, a sink, and a sad excuse for a cot. But, yeah. Luckily, I was only in there for 80 hours and... That's why I'm on probation now, because I did some stuff in the past, as many people know. A lot of people on YouTube found out, because they, I don't even know how you how they found out. They, actually I kind of do, but I'd rather not even get into that subject, because that's not anything I do anymore, so... And I would like to state on the record that I have never committed a violent crime and I would never commit a violent crime. Because, or I've not, and I've also never stolen from anyone. Because it's not alright to steal and it's not alright to, to commit violence against other people. Like, that's fucked up. However, I do believe that you should be able to put whatever you choose to put, like, whatever you so choose to put into your own body. That's your decision. It's your body. But you should research it and know the risks. And it's just as simple as that. It really doesn't get much more. I mean, there's, it, there's, it's not complicated. Okay, so this is gonna be interesting. Yeah. Good thing she died right then. 
I'm not, I'm sure chat is going to be really interesting next time I check it, but I figured I would at least explain my situation. I mean, you guys are curious, and I am not ashamed. I mean, everyone makes mistakes. I own up to my mistakes. I own up to, um, you know, what I've done. I don't see a reason not to. I feel like if I didn't, that would uh, make me a worse person, you know? I know a lot of people who can't even admit they're wrong, and actually one of my, he used to be one of my best friends, he's not so much anymore, but um, one of my old friends, you can't even get into, you, you can't talk to him about something where you know you're right, and you know that he's going to have a wrong opinion, and because if you keep telling him that he's wrong he will keep fighting tooth and nail that he is right e and even if you have all the proof in the world with google or whatever and you have sources that are reliable that show him that he is wrong he will just freak the fuck out and get to the point where he'll get violent like it's so strange so, I think it takes a bigger man to admit his mistakes. Let's see what my EXP per hour is right now. Right now, it's only uh, 621k. Oh, fuck, fuck. I stopped recording, and I need to get something out. And I need to start shooting the fucking things. Jesus Christ, an Infernalist too. This is how I died before. Once the first Fury's dead, it'll be... Alright. It's all uphill from here. Ow. Ow. That was not fun at all. Alright, if you guys are going to do this whole... Yeah, there we go. We'll just avalanche like this. That way it's a little more efficient for me. That way I'm hitting all of you, not just some of you. Where the fuck... Okay, thank you. There you are. Hey, well, at least I'm going to use some mana pots up now. That way I can have room for stuff. Oh, come on. Stop it. Is it... Prolonging the inevitable. Oh, I must have accidentally shut this. Well, I'm going to be here for a while, just potting up. I don't even know what this fury drop. Oh, the other fury dropped a terror rod, I think. Yep. So we finally have more terror rods than noble axes. So this is starting to look more like a normal fury hunt, you know. That's... I wish it was just more I, I wish it was more steel boots than terror rods. I would be uh very happy. Very very happy with that outcome. 
All right, let's check chat real quick. Let's see. Yeah, but the rusty armor is, um, it's semi rare, so it's not even, in my opinion, I don't do, I don't even undo the semi rare ones because I only use my rust removers on rare ones. What'd that Dragon Lord drop? Okay, nothing really too nice. I'm gonna use up some icicles right now and see what nice hits we can get on this Hellfire. Ooh. Four twenty five. Okay. Dragonling first, Fury second. I really wish, like I said, uh, if the Dragonlings weren't here, I feel like my experience per hour would go up exponentially. That's why I'm just going to try to stick to this area and go downstairs as much as possible because it seems like the more I hunt the downstairs right here the better I do um awesome and I'm gonna grab this fury obviously and then drop her and by the time I finished her off there should be some respawn downstairs Another pair of night legs, and there's respawn upstairs. So what am I even talking about? So cool, two night legs too. Um, yeah, pretty decent loot so far. I mean, nothing outrageous. The red piece of cloth would be had it not been for sips off fucking them in the ass, but uh, you know. Wow, that fury was right all up in my business as soon as I got down. Demonic essence. Cool. Well, we'll just put up one energy wall for now. Um, if it gets hectic, I'll throw down another. Because I didn't bring too many, so... Oh, shit, 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 shit. No, Hellfire Fighter, please stay away from the... Okay. Thank you. You stayed away from the energy wall for the most part. And see how he just put the fire down? That is why I wanted him to stay away from it. So that the Fury would keep uh, running around it. Ooh, a Magma Coat! Finally! These guys have not given me any loot in so long. And I've said that in uh, some of my like recent videos. And normally I get like Fire Swords and Fire Axes, but a Magma Coat? Alright. That makes up for at least a little bit of the nonsense. Okay, let's drop that. Yep, yep. Ooh, that beam. It's nice that my spell book gives me a static 5% protection, though. I mean, I know 5% isn't a ton, but it's enough. 
Yeah, both of them are coming. No? Just one? Okay. Cool. That works out. I thought for sure both of them would have been on me, but I'm fine with one. A crystal ring. A red piece of cloth. Uh, okay, there's the uh, other. Oh, and the infernalist is to the south. Try to outrun him. Um, because I didn't want him messing up my energy wall, but I suppose it doesn't really matter now, right? How sweet would that have been if that was another knight legs or like crown legs or something? Noble axes and magma coat. That's what's worth the most. I always put what's worth the most up front. It's just a habit. Okay, up here there's just an imp. And I bet there's a fury spawned to the south. Um, and we're going to go take her out. Because I do not want to get another double fury situation going on. Yep. Hi, sweetheart. Watch this other fury spawn in this room as I'm talking about not getting two on me again as I come up the stairs. Yeah. Alright. Well, now I know I can't get two on me again as I come up the stairs. So, I should be just fine to stay down here and uh, clear it out. A great health potion, a great mana potion. Cool. One of each. Oh, well, one finished draw first. Let's see experience per hour now. Yeah, it's going up a little bit as I stick to this particular area. All right, let's see. Um, I'm going to see if I can get these guys to back into that, into this corner. Um, or into a spot where I can, yes, where I can consistently explosion them. But they have a hard time of doing that. They, I don't know. They like to move around a lot. Warlocks seem to be easier to get into spots where I can just spam explosions on two of them. And it's not a problem. But Infernalists? No. They don't like that. For some, They just... Wow. Magic Sulfur. Awesome. That Fury like spawned like next it felt like it spawned on screen almost i've seen creatures spawn on screen before have you guys i'm sure you have magic sulfur how many fire swords is a magic sulfur isn't it like two to four or something i forget just because i haven't done it in a oh my god I'm pretty sure there was two Furies right there. That's why I just backed up over here and figured I would just take out this one and then uh, worry about the other one in just a second. Yep, there was another one. Yep, we're de definitely getting 285. Um, and not, not too far away either. Uh, so that's awesome. Pretty excited. That, that'll mark only 
15 more levels till 300. So that's exciting. That's very exciting. All right. Let's see if there's anything else spawned. Nope. What? Okay. Hopefully, going back upstairs is not a hell hole. Just an infernalist? Really? Weird. I figured at least the fury would be spawned. She's got to be really close to spawning. Holy shit. I wasn't even that far north, and the Hellfire Fighter and the Dragon Lord both came after me, like, whatever, though. That's cool. Hellfire Fighters are really good experience. And they do have the occasional good loot. Blazing Bone, thank you. That's like the one time I don't mind Dragonlings is when they give me those because those are worth 610 gold. So, it's like, alright. At least it was worth killing you because the amount of SDs I used was probably, probably cost me a little bit less than, you know, what the Blazing Bone is worth. So, oh, I forgot to bring a separate backpack strictly for terror rods. Depending on how long I'm here, that may actually be an issue. Demonic Essence, okay. Aw, oh, did that Dragonling spot me? He did. Alright, we'll just kill him. I was trying to avoid it, but... Some things can't be avoided. Hold on a sec, this is like tangled around my foot. There we go. Hopefully my camera doesn't like refocus a million times now. Oh, wow. Terrible explosion prediction. That worked out. Okay, you're back now? No? Still? Jesus Christ, even this fury is back. Where did this one disappear to? Narnia? Did the other Fury find Narnia? If it did, I'm, I'm going to be kind of jealous. Because I've been looking for Narnia my whole life. You know? It's been my life's ambition. <laughs> oh, man. Ah, uh, Infernalist just had to, had to get out of that last little avalanche, you know. Couldn't take that damage. That's alright, though. We weakened him pretty good. Alright. Now let's pop back down here, throw down an energy wall. Let's check out our EXP per hour. Come on. 727. So it is going up. Um, I saw it at like 850 the other day, or 900, I think, when I was folk basically doing what I'm doing now, just 
um, doing the route of furies of uh, the th four furies up top and um, this downstairs <clears throat> seems to be the best for experience, loot, everything, you name it. I gotta take out that Hellfire Fighter as quick as possible. He's gonna be my priority target because he can deal the most damage and he can also ruin my energy walls. And I don't like that. Yeah, we'll let her run around. Why not? My wand reaches far enough to where she can run and I'll still hit her. Wow. If you took that out of context, she can run, but I will still hit her. That sounds like some domestic violence. <laughs> like, <laughs> what the fuck? Um, there's someone at my door, so hold on a second, I guess. I don't know who the hell would be at my door right now, but one sec. All right, I am back. It was the mailman. I had to sign for a package. Yep. <sighs> Let's see. Very. Have you fapped yet? Yeah, of course. Um, is it three fire? Okay, it's three fire swords. That's that's what I thought. Wow, I literally...